Hello people, this is the Geekazoid bringing you another video tutorial on how to install and configure the new version of Kodi successfully on your Windows PC. Now this tutorial is up to date from the 8th of March 2017. So without further ado, we always start from the desktop. So from the desktop, you want to click on the E button in your bottom banner, which will load up the web browser okay and it'll launch your home screen if your home screen is a default screen it'll look similar to mine which is just a news feed on the top you want to click on the top button and then you want to type in www.google.com and press on enter so you want to navigate to the google search engine once you're at the google search engine in google you want to type excuse me in google you want to type in cody and press enter now it's the first link that appears which says downloads Kodi and it's https colon forward slash Kodi dot tv forward slash downloads forward slash click on that it'll load up the Kodi website I'll take you directly to the downloads tab so scroll down past this big block of text and we're interested in where it says get it on Windows 10 click on RC and click on the text installer once you click on that, it'll open up a blank page, so you'll need to go at the top and close the tab down by pressing the X button, and then this bottom banner will appear. On the bottom banner, you want to click on Save As. And then in Save As, you want to save it to Desktop, so make sure Desktop is selected and leave the file name exactly as it is and click on Save. Let Kodi download. This uh, will depend on your internet speed how long this takes if you got a slow internet this will take a while uh, I do recommend quite strong internets for Kodi uh, as Kodi does require a fairly substantial internet connection for it to work smoothly so once it's downloaded click on the X button on the top button and then go click on X button at the top to close Internet Explorer okay now what you want to do you can see the Kodi icon on the desktop you want to right click it and click on run as administrator once you click on that it will load up the Kodi installation window now sometimes this can take a little while if it is taking a little while just stay patient it will load up okay it's loading up now if it prompts you to click on accept you want to click on accept it won't appear on the screen but basically it's prompting me that do I want to open up this software and I clicked on accept so once you click on accept Kodi will load up okay it says welcome to Kodi setup you want to click on next and then you want to click on I agree and you want to make sure it's the full installation and then you want to click on next you want to leave the destination folder at its default path and then click on next and then click on install let Kodi install this again uh, the time this process takes will depend on how quick your computer is uh, if you've got a slow computer this will take a while okay nearly done on my machine okay what you want to now want to do is it says complete encoding setup so it's finished click on the finish button what we want to do now is want to delete the actual install file so right click on the install file mouse down to delete and then left click on delete and then when it says do you want to show you send this to the recycle bin click on yes and then you want to go on to your windows button and you want to scroll down this side of the screen all the way down to k and you'll find Kodi. you want to click on the bottom arrow on to the right hand side and there it says Kodi. you want to right click sorry left click and keep the left click pressed and drag Kodi onto the desktop it didn't work for me for the first time so I'm gonna have to do it again so left click on Kodi apologies so go back into Windows 
and then mouse down back down to Cody click on the bottom model and then left click Cody and drag it onto the desktop and you've created a shortcut of Cody onto the desktop now you want to right click this Cody uh, double left click on it to load it up and once you load it up Cody um, this will appear once you open the software what you now want to do is click on this gear icon so go ahead and click on the gear icon you'll come to these options here and then you want to click on file manager and then in file manager you want to click on add source on the left panel not on the right okay and where it says add file source you want to double click on that and then you want to type this text in so you can pause the video at this point and write this down and enter this URL exactly as I've written it once you've done that click on OK and then you want to mouse down to the bottom and you want to give it a name we want to call it fusion okay and once you typed in fusion mouse over OK and click on it okay so your screen should look like this click on OK now to check whether you've got the link right you can actually click on the fusion folder and it should come up with come up with these three folders which says begin here Cody repos and Cody scripts click on the two dots to go back and then press escape on your keyboard until you go all the way back to the home screen now that we're back at the home screen what I want you to do is mouse over add-ons and then click on add-ons and then you want to mouse over this little cardboard box at the top left click on the cardboard box mouse down and click on install from zip file then this box will appear click on the settings and it'll take you to the settings page where it says unknown sources you want to move all the way to the right of the unknown sources and make sure this button is selected and switched on this warning will appear once this warning appears mouse over yes and click on yes and then press escape to go all the way back to the home screen keep pressing escape until you end up on this screen where it says you do not have any add-ons okay now what you want to do is mouse over add-ons and then click on add-ons and then you want to click on the box again the cardboard box this time you want to click on install from zip file and then you want to look for fusion here so click on fusion and then click on begin here and then double click on where it says plugin programs indigo so once you click on it it'll disappear wait for a moment don't do anything what will basically happen is a box will appear on the top right corner of the screen so I'm just waiting for the box to appear here it is it says indigo add-on installed once this box appears what you can then do is keep pressing escape to go back to the home screen now the only difference you would have noticed is if you mouse over add-ons this indigo appears click on the indigo okay once you've clicked on the indigo uh, add-on it will load up it will say initializing starting up etc you want to mouse over config wizard it will have a few options here but we're interested in the top option where it says config wizard you want to click on config wizard and you want to click on install once it says please confirm that you wish to automatically configure Cody click on install and then let it do its thing now it will download and then it will configure uh, this process uh, will the time this process takes will depend entirely on your internet connection uh, so just uh, let it do its thing nearly done once this is done it will I believe begin over again here it's beginning over again and this time it's configuring what it's downloaded nearly done okay once it's done uh, it'll say installation complete and it'll say click OK to exit Cody and then restart to complete you want to click on OK and 
once you clicked on OK, Kodi will automatically close down. Once Kodi has closed down, what you want to do is reopen Kodi by right clicking on it and clicking on Run as Administrator. And the box will appear, it won't show up on my screen, it'll basically say, do you want to open this software, just click on OK. You'll be taken back to the home screen, but what you want to do now, this pl common plugin cachero will appear. Let that go away. So what you want to do is you want to mouse over to where it says add-ons. Go all the way to the bottom. And then suddenly you get loads of add-ons here. It's already installed them. Click on add-ons. And then you have video add-ons. All the video add-ons are listed here. Uh, you have music add-ons. All of them are pre-installed for you. Program add-ons, NaviX, and all the program add-ons are here. And pictures should be empty. So, mouse over video add-ons. And PrimeWire won't be working. Now, this is for UK people only. PrimeWire is blocked in the UK, the URL. So, how do you get URL working? So, look, if you open up uh, PrimeWire, we don't get any movies. We don't get anything. It's just blank. What this basically means is your internet service provider, anywhere you are in the world, whether you're in the States or you're elsewhere in the world, has blocked PrimeWire from working and this is how you get PrimeWire working. You run a Google search and in the Google search you'll type something like uh, PrimeWire Unlock URL USA and then websites will appear from different people uh, giving you the URL that will unlock PrimeWire in your countries. So in my case I googled PrimeWire Unlock URL UK and then I ran a search and I did the search wire upload date in the past month because you need a, a fairly new link. So run the search within a month period through Google and find out what the unlock URL is for your country. Now once you've got the unlock URL, this is what you need to do. You want to right click on PrimeWire One Channel, mouse down to settings and then left click on settings and then it'll load up the settings for the PrimeWire add-on. You want to click on Enable Custom Domain, flick the switch on, okay, and then Custom Domain, you'll be able to click on this bottom box here, left click on it, and it'll give you a box to type in the URL. Now you paste the URL that you found in the Google search engine onto here. In my case, it's this URL, okay, and then click on OK, and then click on OK. Okay, now that you've done that, if now you open up uh, PrimeWire, it will bring you results. So if you mouse over movies, click on movies and go down to most popular, click on most popular and it will work. It will bring you some results. It's working its way. There you are. It's giving you some results. So let's say we want to watch Jurassic World. Just click on Jurassic World and it'll bring you bring up loads of links. You just click on one link to open up Jurassic World. Some of the links won't work. If a link doesn't work, just go back and click on another link to see whether that one's working. And as you can see, there you go, Jurassic Park is now working. Now you're asking yourself, how do you install add-ons which aren't in the list? And there is a really easy way to do that. Go into video add-ons and click on the Indigo add-on. And then mouse over add-on installer. And then go down. If you want to install a video add-on, mouse over video add-on. Click on video add-on. And then all the add-ons are listed here. There are hundreds and hundreds of them. And you can just scroll all the way down, click on next and keep going. So let's say I want to install a cartoon add-on. So uh, here it says Cartoons 8. So what I want to do is click on Cartoons 8 if I want to install it. And then click on this link which here, which says it says you want to install it. Do you wish to install the chosen add-on? Click on Install. And then it just says Downloading your selection. And it'll come up with a pop-up box saying Installation Complete. And then click on OK. Then what you need to do, press escape on your keyboard, go all the way back to the home screen, mouse over add-ons, then video add-ons, 
and then look down the list. If you look down the list this time, you should see the Cartoons 8 that we just installed. Click on Cartoons 8 and click on, uh, I don't know, uh, let's click on Super Cartoons. Actually, uh, we'll, we'll go back. Uh, we'll click on 9 Cartoons and we'll click on 9 Cartoons Popular. Let's see if this add-on is working. Okay, let's uh, select a cartoon from the list. Uh, Tom and Jerry. Click on Tom and Jerry. Uh, click on episode 1. And you can see Tom and Jerry has loaded up. Okay, we'll stop Tom and Jerry before it deafens us. And let's check another one out. Uh, let's go on to Star Wars Rebels. Where are you, Star Wars? Here it is. Click on Star Wars Rebels. Uh, let's play episode 2. Let's see if this loads up here. It's loaded up. You're not going to tell me what you did with the Sith Holocron, are you? And that's it really, that's the end of the tutorial, you have now successfully configured and installed the new version of Kodi on your Windows PC. Like this video if you like it, if you dislike this video go ahead and dislike it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see f more tutorials in the future on how to install Kodi. And also subscribe to this channel where I will be showing my top 5 video add-ons for movies and my top 5 video add-ons for live TV. So subscribe if you want to see those videos in the future. Thank you for watching and have a good day.